Hello everyone, welcome back in our Dynamics 365 series. So this is the second part of the video. In the first part, we discussed how we can create a view in Dynamics 365 and say to the different teams or the users, right? So basically, uh, we have two kinds of views. The first one, we can simply go to this one. Hold on. We can simply go to make.powerapps.com and from there into the entity you can go to this table and create a view right sorry this one you can create a view so the limitation of this view is that you cannot share this view to any particular user let's say there or or a team let's say we have a sales team and i have created a view called uh, my connections which i want to share to let's say the team lead or to the uh, xyz teams yeah. So that one you can see if you select it, there is no any option to share the view to other users. Okay. So this is the limitations of out of the box views. <clears throat> so this one for this one, I have in the previous part one video. If you come here, I have we created a view in advanced find, right? We created if you go to this one setting and advanced setting, you'll be able to see this business management. In the business management we have advanced find here so in the advanced find we created a view it's loading just wait okay so if you come here you can see we have the advanced find so in this advanced find only previously i created a personal view and that personal view i shared to the user and a team let's wait let's say we have this account and uh, i created for contacts so if you come here and if you click on the saved views, you'll be able to see all the views which you have created and shared. So previous video, I created the share view or test one trial. You simply click on this, you click on share and you'll be able to see the share option. It's already shared to team one and test one user. Okay. Sim similar way, you can click on add user and share it to multiple users. So this is, let's say this one I'm doing in the developer environment, right? And now I want to transfer all these views to production environment. So how will you transfer? So basically what we do is uh, we go to our make.powerapps.com and while creating a solution, we have the option of add existing, right? So if, when you click on add existing, you will not be able to find any views which we have created using the advanced find. See here in the view, video, we have created this June 18 share view test one trial, all these things, right? So these views are not visible in the ad existing. Now for this, what we need to do? Let me just close this one. Okay. Even in the ad sub components or if you go to the classic mode there also, you won't be able to find it. <clears throat> so in that scenario, we are not going to import the solution and uh, export export the solution I import in the production environment. This is going to be useless. Okay. So for this, we are going to use the XRM toolbox for, for that. Okay. So in the XRM toolbox, we have uh, one tool called personal view migration tool. So using that, we need to configure first, we need to connect to the source environment, target source environment and then target environment, and then we can transfer it. Okay. That is one option. So for, for that, first of all, you need to have the XRM toolbox. In case if you don't have, simply go to XRM toolbox, download. And first itself, from here, you can download it. Cool. Just download it. Once you have downloaded it, here, just open it. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll show you, uh, see here, let me just close this one we have okay let it be open uh, here we have this view called hold on we have this view called share view test one and june 18 out of this, I have shared only share view to other user, test one user. This is test one. If you come here, only share view is there. Same way I have shared to this test two user as well. Now, there is, uh, if you search on the internet, you'll, you may find another way of sharing this personal view using the plugin code. 
but when you try that you may fail it may not execute properly i'm going to show you that as well so if you come here actually i tried this uh, this block for hiding the views based on user roles so what he did is he have created a plugin and primary entity is saved query but we are trying let's say on the custom entity not the saved query entity let's say we have a table called uh, employee or company for those things it's not going to work okay so do not try this one okay i did it uh, very perfectly i tried everything but still this plugin does not work for that the simplest way is just create a personal view in that one's fine and then share it to the user or the team okay so once you have created the view now we want to migrate it from dev environment to the production environment for that come to your this one and now what we need to first of all let's uh, okay go to the tools in the no first of all we need to install that tool so go to the open tools library and here search personal view personal view right and you can see here we have personal view migration tool i have installed i have installed this to personal view migration and personal view migration tool so we are going to try with the personal view migration tool so just click on this install it one for me it is already installed once it is installed go to your tools and here just search your personal migration tool right now i'm going to open it so first it will ask you which organization you want to connect so for this i want to connect uh, we have different environment right so let me just come here and what i want to do is let's say i think now in order to transfer view from one environment to another environment you need to have the same entity let's say we have contact entity here in another environment also we need to have the same contact entity so for that i think i i already have a sales trial here one sec which is here in the crm i have the sales trial so make sure whenever you are migrating the view the same entity should be present in both the both the environment so sales trial okay so before this one okay let me come here and first of all we need to connect to the environment so let's do i want to connect to connect with my developer environment just come here check what is the environment in the big dot here we have environment is dynamics power environment right so i'm just going to connect with this one cool okay once you have connected you can see here the source and the target environment okay so this is going to my developer environment this is going to be my production environment for this again you need to select this this one is in okay dev environment click on okay and uh, target environment let it be as a sales trial okay now click on the load users once this is done we need to click on the load personal views this is the place where we need to select the view which we want to migrate it so click on load personal views okay so it may take uh, one or two minutes depending on how many personal views or how many things you have configured in this one so you need to have some patience let's wait okay so this is done now as you see this is a developer environment this is sales environment uh, this is a sales environment so before migrating the views i want to show you in this is our developer environment here we have the view called June 18 share view test one environment. This is the source environment. If you come to the sales trial here, if we go to the contacts, let's see how many views we have. We have just test one sales trial view. Okay. Now here you just click on, uh, I'm going to transfer all this test view, June 18 share view, all these things to sales trial. So load sharing. Okay. Now one thing to note here is 
let's say you have created a view here in the dev environment okay and i have shared this view uh, let's say the share view with the user xyz and the team x whatever abc so while transporting the view from one environment to another environment you are only going to trans uh, export the view not the permission not the let's say i have shared it with the uh, user x again you need to go to the production environment and you need to share with the x user so because sometimes what happens what the users in dev environment and production environment differs it may not be the same so sharing of, of the views is not transferred while importing or exporting this views okay this is the uh, this is a limitation okay so now coming here i'm just clicking going to click on the migrate now again it's going to take one or two minutes this is action this is already uh, i'm going to click on this one so this one this one this one this all are done let's come here and check in our sales environment let me just give a hard refresh coming here now you can see this is a sales trial earlier we had only one this test 1a now share view and 18a is also there now in the production environment again you need to go to the this advanced setting and on the view you need to select it and share it with the different users like how we did here right you go this one here click on june 18 click on share and from here you can select the particular user or the teams the option should come on the left pane. From here you can do that. Okay. So uh, just to summarize it, uh, what we did in the first video, uh, what is that? In the first video, we created a personal view using the advanced find option, advanced find option, and we shared it to the different users, test one and test two users. After that, in the second part, we we uh, exported that personal view to the production environment using XRM toolbox. Yeah, this is the easiest way. You can you can try it some other way also if you have if you know. But mostly in the out of the box feature, we do not have any option to share this custom view with any other users. Okay, you can simply come here, create the the views in uh, out of the views out of the box views. You can put in the solution and then you can put in the production environment but there we do not have option to share with the different users okay for this we created an advanced find view and we shared with the different users so this is all about uh, this view uh, also to know more about uh, uh, learn more on the dynamics 365 you can simply refer my youtube channel which is power dynamics and you can see how we can log the fields on the subgrade how we can make the subgrade editable power automate videos sql whatever these things you can refer for the code section and all you can go to my blog this powerdynamics.blogspot.com and can refer in case if you're facing any issue or if you need any help or support feel free to comment down i'll be ready to help you out thank you so much for watching have a good day Bye bye